Morning guys, 51 Foxy. Uh, I just thought I'd take this opportunity just to show you uh, the first burn um, with the Bush Box XL from Bushcraft Essentials. But I want to do something different. I'm going to use wood pellets in it. Uh, I've had a lot of comments saying about it's not big enough or deep enough uh, or wood pellets are going to come through the hole. So what I've come up with is just a rough a little bit of aluminium bent over. Now this plate that you get with the uh, with the set just simply fits in the two holes there and drops in so it raises everything up and all I've done just to block the holes off this is for people who want to use wood pellets and it is not basically it's not made for it's not being designed to use wood pellets but you can use wood pellets in it all I've done is just cut a whole piece of aluminium out very quick just slot it over the top just to block it in then you've got loads of air underneath going through to get your wood pellets alight and keep it going so what I'll do guys I'll get it filled up with wood pellets get it lit then I'll bring you back Fetch you back now guys she's uh, alight now um, I'm just going to put it on uh, this new GSI uh, stainless steel kettle. Uh, I'm going to change over to stainless, I think, rather than aluminium. Uh, a quick tip with this, if you don't like your pots all blacked up, just put some washing up liquid all the way around it, underneath and everything, uh, and it wipes off. You don't get everything off, but it wipes it off a lot easier, uh, all the soot and everything. So we'll get this on. And I'll just show you what time it is. It's five past eleven. So we'll see how long this burns for on wood pellets. I'll stick this back on, on here. And we'll see how we go. Bring you back in a bit. your back guys and you see water were boiling and that uh, washing all the liquid on your pans does work just washed it under the tap and wiped it and it's come straight off all the soot and black right to be honest like I've said to you all I'm always going to be honest in my videos it don't burn that well with wood pellets I don't think it does burn but not that well as you can see it's smoking uh, if you get a bit of wind on it, it puts it out, as it near enough is now. Uh, but saying that, it's been going 25 minutes. So, it don't burn that well with wood pellets. So, it's got to be uh, basically sticks and everything. Uh, like I said before, it weren't designed to work with wood pellets anyhow. So, but to get you out of situation, if you were in one. So, but it don't work uh, that well with wood pellets. If you can keep out at wind, guys, it's it, you just give it. I just give it a blow. It's a bit windy today, uh, and it's come back to life, no problem. But uh, you always basically find that it is windy wherever you go, anyhow, most of the time. So, but it does still work on wood pellets, but not as good as what I expected it to, to be honest. But uh, I'll say it again, it weren't designed for that. I'll bring you back and see how long they do last. The only fault with it, guys, if it's windy, it keeps blowing it out. There's not enough air getting to it. Uh, but it does work with wood pellets, but uh, it's it's not uh, 100%. Maybe I've put wood pellets too high, stacked them too high in it. That's why it's not getting no air to it properly. Still well hot enough, hot enough to cook on and boil a kettle on without a shadow of doubt. It's absolutely red hot. If you 
with no wind it's perfect it works well but if a little bit of wind obviously you're going to come across wind at most of the time so uh, it's, it's not very good in wind but as you can see winds just drop now and it's roaring but it does work but not 100% uh, efficient but uh, like I say it'll, it works perfect obviously with uh, wood in it and everything like that so see a slight little bit of wind look guys and it, it blows it out and then you just get it smouldering But the ash that's left in it is absolutely red hot, obviously. It's working on a barbecue basis like that, it's red hot. And I mean red hot. can't keep blowing it back into life all the time guys so there's definitely not enough air getting to it the only good thing about that if you wanted it just to cook your food on as a barbecue it's perfect you know I mean don't put as many wood pellets in just let them burn down at per se put half the amount I've put in let it burn down so all the smoke's gone and just leaves you all the coals and it'll be a red hot to cook on, cook on for ages. So. I've got an apology to make guys. The reason why it's going out is it's burnt. It's all burnt down, I didn't know, I thought I'd put more pellets in than that. It's all gone to charcoal, so that is my fault. So it does work, it does work well. Uh, boil my kettle and everything and uh, and it's still going and it's absolutely red hot so it does work with pellets I didn't think it was going to be that clever but when it blows it out it works because there's not enough pellets in it that's simple reason why but uh, well that's the end of this one anyhow uh, next one that I shall do I'll do it uh, basically with wood in it uh, and have another brew on it but like I showed you my kettle that does work that if you put washing up liquid on for you start your burn all your suck comes off it brilliant we're up to uh, 40 minutes just over 40 minutes it's been going so that works well really then now <laughs> seeing that that don't work bad at all like wind's dropped and it's it's perfect. So you can say it's a 50-50 really. 50% uh, success, 50% fail. But as you can see, look, it's going out now. Look, but I'll just show you. All these pellets is all, is all gone. There's none left at all. I'll just show you the inside. And uh, so you can see they've all burnt they've all burnt down well, that's good it works on the same as charcoal brilliant So the next one I do guys, it'll be on uh, on wood. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said we've got a 50% uh, success rate. Uh, a lot of it's my fault there. I, didn't, I thought I'd put more wood pellets in than that. Uh, and they have burnt down well and it's still absolutely red hot. And I mean red hot, you can't put your hand over it. So it would cook your food or boil your kettle or whatever. So, okay then guys, bye for now. Alright guys, we'll fetch your bike. Uh, I'm just going to do uh, a burn with wood in it, uh, what it's made for. So, uh, we get this bad boy lit and then I'll, uh, I'll fetch your bike. 
that's going now guys like I said to you before just put some washing up liquid around the bottom of your kettle and it just wipes off with a little bit of a scouring pad type thing straight away let these burn down a little bit and then we'll fetch it back As you can see guys, boiling away, no problems. Very, very efficient, super efficient stove. Awesome bit of kit. Absolutely awesome. So we'll let it die down, guys, cool down. Uh, I've been assured by Bushcraft Essentials, some of you uh, questioned about these springs on the side. Uh, the coils are made by hand and put on by hand uh, uh, and I'm guaranteed they're not going to clog up or break on me uh, they'll last as long as what the stove does so there's no problems with that for those of you who are a bit worried about it so that's great, great news great bit of kit, awesome thanks for watching guys, bye for now